A new military training center is about to be up and running in Vermont. Senator Patrick Leahy helped cut the ribbon on the Army Mountain Warfare School. It will serve the Army and Vermont National Guard. Local 22's Sam Israel is back tonight from Camp Ethan Allen in Jericho, and he joins us live right now. Hi, Sam. Lauren, the Army Mountain Warfare School spans 82,000 square feet, and among the features, a four-story indoor climbing wall. It will allow soldiers to train year-round in military mountaineering. One, two, three. <laughs> That's <awesome. laughs> Ribbons were cut at the Camp Ethan Allen training site, and those in the Vermont Army National Guard were happy to see it. It's an impressive facility, and I think it speaks volumes about the the, the need for this type of training for them to be able to build us a facility like this. It's been a long standing dream to have a new facility that can accomplish uh, what we set out to do. Many believed it was time for a new facility. The last time I saw this, it was literally a hole in the ground. Working out of an old, outdated facility. So the experience that we offer here and the outstanding cadre that we have really wasn't matched by the facility that we were in. Vermont Senator Patrick Leahy secured $30 million for the building in 2020. He is happy to see it come to fruition. This is going to be a world-class training facility. Senator Leahy says securing the money is just the beginning. Uh, I, I can bring money to you, but that's the easy part. The hard part is where you use it and you train. There are courses in rough terrain evacuation, assault army climber, and military mountain medicine. Um, in our world, the, the elements can be just as bad an enemy as the actual enemy. So by understanding the environment of the mountains allows us to uh, survive and, and sustain much longer than someone who is unfamiliar with it. The indoor climbing wall reaches 70 feet high. It will allow the school to operate year round, even when the weather outside is dangerous. Especially high winds where limbs falling on, uh, tree limbs falling on students, uh, the risk would outweigh the rewards of the training. Instructors are excited to begin teaching. If I can teach them one thing or show them one technique to make their life better, safer, more productive, then I've done my job. If you can go to work and do something that you love, it's really not work. Uh, and most days in the military have been like that for me. And soon, Vermont soldiers will be reaching new heights in their training. The new building also contains updated classrooms where I am told the facility will school 1,500 students, more than double the amount from the last one. Live in the studio tonight, Sam Israel, Local 22 News.